Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be working on another project life spread for week 50 of 2022. So this week I once again pulled out just bits and pieces from my stash of Christmas stuff that I'm using this year. So I think the majority of everything that I am using is from the crepe paper mittens and mistletoe collection. That's just been the easiest thing for me um, this year since I have like a big stack of stuff that I'm using for December daily. I've just been kind of grabbing little bits and using it as well for project life. So that seemed to work out pretty well. So whenever I was printing off my photos, I I went ahead and cut down a few of the papers to either be three by four or four by six size and grabbed out one of the journaling cards from the cut apart sheet at the bottom. So then you'll see that I went ahead and I used that really old December daily stamp set from Allie Edwards and I stamped out the five and the zero for week 50. So whenever I stamped it originally, you'll notice that I used kind of the maroon color, but then when I went to cut it out off camera, I wasn't sure if the maroon was the best choice. So then I went ahead and stamped it out in the red as well and I ended up going with the red. So I was kind of thinking about the kind of pinkish maroon color of like the card down at the bottom, the three by four that has the skunk on it, the journaling card. Um, but then after I stamped it, there is several pops of red throughout my photo. So I felt like that went a little bit better. Then I just grabbed out um, a label and just some, this is like a piece of just a uh, random like leftover piece of paper that I had. So I just add a little banner here to just spice up this card a little bit. And then I have a lot of embellishments and chipboard and things like that in a, a little bowl that I've been using here. So I'm just going to pull out a couple of things to uh, stick on my layout. So for this week, of course, we are really getting into Christmas time. It's nearly here. And so this was last week. So we were fully into the Christmas spirit. Um, so my photos um, really reflect that. So the photo at the top is a picture of me and Will that we took for our Christmas card this year. So I printed that off as a three by four so that there would be a little bit of pattern paper in the background. And I just wanted to do that because I have a another selfie there at the bottom. So just to kind of break up the uh, kind of boldness of having two selfies on the same spread, I just thought I would print one off a little bit smaller. And then I also have these two cute pictures of the dog. So one is of Penny and one is of Poppy. Just a couple pictures that I snapped of them last week. Just trying to get a Christmassy photo of each of them. Then I have a picture of our main Christmas tree in our living room. And then you'll see that I uh, added a chipboard embellishment that says tis the season to be jolly. I added that over my photo of Oreo truffles, which are my favorite thing to make around the holidays. And I've made a ton of uh, like batches of those to give out as gifts this year. So I've really been just churning those out in the kitchen. So I had to document those as well. Then down at the bottom, I have a photo of me and my two besties, Casey and Shelby. We had a Christmassy night where we made s'mores and roasted marshmallows indoors, which was really fun and got to catch up with them and see little Andy and all of that. And we kind of have an inside joke about this blow mold Santa that I've had since I was a kid. Um, and so I had to bring Santa for our photo as well. So I love that picture of us by Casey's Christmas tree. And then the last photo at the bottom is of our um, charcuterie board that we made um, over the weekend whenever Will had a day off. We had a super Christmassy day. We ended up watching like six Christmas movies and we ate a lot of fun snacks and just had a super great Christmas day together. So I had to document that as well.
So now that all of my photos are in place and all of the main things are here on the spread, I'm just adding in a few little embellishments here and there. I have these really bright gold um, word phrase stickers from Citrus Twist. And then I also have the really cute small puffy stickers from Crate Paper as well. So I added a few of those here and there. And then of course, I wanted to add the bulk of my journaling to this journaling card. I love when uh, these collections have cut apart sheets. Um, you know, I am a pocket girl at heart. So I love a good cut apart sheet that you can cut out and they already have cards that are three by four and four by six, especially bonus points. If they have journaling cards, I'm always looking for a good journaling card for project life. So I had to take advantage of that one. And then I grabbed this cute little label that looks like a wreath from the same collection. And I just added in a little bit of journaling up there to the top photo as well. So I'm pretty sure that I just add one more tiny word phrase sticker here to my title card just so I could have like a little um, area where I had three of those phrase stickers and then this layout will be completed. But I do have a little bonus layout that I'm going to do really quickly here at the end. So actually um, the first day of this week, that Monday the 12th, me and Will were able to do a really fun activity together. So um, we went to snuggle baby goats. So it was really, really fun. Will got me this gift certificate to a local uh, like ranch that have these baby goats. And it was really fun. He got that for me for my birthday. And we were just now able to go um, during this week in December. So it was just a great time. It was really interesting, something different, but we've always really loved goats um, throughout our relationship. And so this was like a fun little thing to do. Um, and it was it was a good time. It was different. It was interesting, but it was fun. And the goats were adorable. And we got to meet and hold and snuggle several different types of goats and age ranges. And we got to meet their mamas and all that kind of stuff. So it was just a really cool experience. Um, but since I had so many Christmassy photos, I just felt like I did not have room to also put any of these goat photos onto my actual spread. So I kind of dug around in my stash and I found one of these page protectors from Citrus Twist and it kind of has a one four by six at the top and then it has six two by two squares at the bottom. So I used my two by two square punch and I punched out several goat photos. So I really love these photos. It was a really fun experience, but none of the pictures are really that fantastic. So I didn't mind printing the majority of them off quite small. So I just punched them out as two by two squares. And then I punched out three other little pieces of pattern paper that I'm going to decorate very quickly. So I just used a couple puffy stickers. I love this camper because we were kind of out at a, a ranch, like outdoor kind of situation. And then I did a cluster of three little trees here to kind of go along with that same vibe. And I added on a couple of the word phrase stickers. And then I am going to dig around in uh, my ephemera and I'm going to find a kind of wood brown kind of craft paper looking um, snowflake here. So I'm going to add that one on to that last um, little two by two square. And I like those to just kind of uh, break up some of those photos since I had so many photos. Then for the top, I wasn't sure what I was going to do on this front side. So on the back, I had a four by six photo of Will. But on the front, I wanted to add a little bit of journaling. So I cut out this um, journaling square from that cut apart sheet. And then I remembered that I had a photo that I took of a sign that they had up with the, with their name. So they're called 901 Goats. And so I wanted to uh, put that in here too so I could have the information if I ever want to look them up again or anything like that in the future. So I do that and then I'm just going to add my journaling right here onto this card and then we'll call this one a day as well. So really glad I got to get these photos documented um, as well. Um, I definitely did not want to leave these out of Project Life even though they wouldn't fit in my just traditional week spread. So super happy to have all of these things documented. So um, I hope that you liked the video. If you did, please give me a like. Please also consider subscribing and I'll be back at you super soon. Happy holidays, everyone. I will talk to you later. Bye, y'all.